Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is in the middleweight division. Your referee in charge is Sam Burgos. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner for the Memphis Force, wearing the purple with orange. He weighed in at 159 and one half pounds. Tonight, he makes his World Series of Boxing debut from Washington, D.C. Please welcome Marvelous Marquise Moore. Well, if you're going to use the nickname Marvelous, you'd better be good. That's all I can say, oh, Sean, yeah. as he oh, makes yeah. his debut. Well, and he may be very good, very good. He's got a coach, Adrian Davis, who is an outstanding coach in uh, Washington, D.C. That, that tells me this kid probably knows his way around the ring. 19 years old. And he has a lot to prove in the World Series of Boxing. And now from your Miami Gallos, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the blue with red. He weighed in at 159 and one half pounds. His World Series of Boxing record, three wins against just one loss from Conyers, Georgia, the 2009 and 2010 National PAL Silver Medalist. He is William Williams. Well, we tell the story about William Williams. His family travels everywhere down here from Atlanta to watch him. He is a, a, just a natural fighter. He started as a young man. He always wanted for Christmas was punching bags, so he's got a few of them around the house. And he has learned how to box on those punching bags. He says in the ring, I'm kind of, I want to be like Floyd Mayweather. He wants to be elusive and wants to score very well. And here is a look at these two middleweights on the head-to-head. -head. Uh, look, Williams, one year older. I don't think that's going to make much of a difference. It's pretty well matched up. I think what will make the difference, the experience Four fights in the World Series of Boxing for William Williams. This is Moore's debut. Well, I just think about the night the Gallos have had some. Of it. Got two split. I mean, two split decision <laughs> losses tonight. It see their own hometown. Well, here that yeah, from right, Miami. Remember, we give the instructions Final in the back. Obey my command and protect yourself at all times. You have any questions? Any questions? Let's touch them all. Come out the bell. What I'm saying is this could have been the climax of the evening, the best fighter on the team to get them the victory, but it was sure. <laughs> too far behind now, and sure. they lost two split decisions. Sure. Pat Burns is about ready to eat nails over there yeah. from all yeah. this, but we'll see what happens here. Marky Moore, you were looking at him right there. Says he likes to use his hook, likes to use his speed and his sharpness. He's going to have to be sharp against William Williams, who just right back in the ring. We just saw him just a couple of weeks ago against Joseph Durich in Mexico City, and he was a great performance. Durich is a tough European fighter, and he blew him out. Just gets better and better and better, Williams does. Thinking in the ring now more. He's, he's utilizing the jab. He's looking at a total picture, looking at his opponent better. Middleweight division, as Sean always says, the speed of the lighter weights and the power of the bigger fighters. So somebody could go down. Good Ooh. right hand. That Ooh. was a tough one right there. That was a stunner. Freeze you in your That's tracks. Why, when you get a guy that can throw hard punches sharply and accurately like that, you got a load to deal with. Well, he's got power in that right hand, does more. He's got more power in that right <laughs> think hand. Think about more. I got to go out. My first fight, I guess who? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 oh, oh my thanks. God. Right at the front. Start at the top. Start at the top of the line. Yeah. Now look at how Williams, he, he, he carries that left hand a little bit low. He might want to pull that up. He got clocked with that overhand right. I yeah, like Moore. that right hand right there. Good work. Countered with the jab. There you go. Right hand again. Could be there all day the way he's throwing it. How do you protect from that? Maybe you roll that right hand. Turn your head. Maybe throw your shoulder up in front of it. Your, your hand is used to coming down to, to your waist level. Williams working the jab, working his way in. He has uh, been very active here in the World Series of Boxing. One of the things that he's learned. His work his fight. way in. Yeah. Work his way in. He's he's a learning. He's a schooling fighter. He's changing, getting better. And he was our headliner tonight. They put him in last tonight. Ooh, good work right there. He caught more out of position. Downstairs, downstairs to the body. Important, important. <laughs> See the build Moore has. He's tough. He's a, he's got a big, broad shoulders in great shape. He's tall. I mean, he fights tall. Stands up straight. Uses a good jab. Does more. Using his Back to you. There to stay out of harm's way there. 
Oh, oh he, good. Uh, good. The more miss than he paid. Just get get your opponent. Let him let him expend his energy. Roll back. Clock him over the top. Nice work. Well, you're so, you know, so quiet here in this arena that you really focus on your your trainer. You've been hearing that same voice in the training regiment coming up to the match, so you really tune, you really focus on what your trainer's telling you to do. So One down. round down. Yeah, I know that like when they when they you get that first round down, you really got to kind of get into the fight. Right, nice. Before that, preceding nice. that, you're, real nice. you're not, you don't need you're not to really into it, far, right? Yeah. If he's if he, he's he's short, anything he's coming here, you know he's got to come with the left hook. Yeah. Anything he's coming here, he's going to come with the right hand. You can just turn those shoulders a little bit here. Look at me, just turn those shoulders a little bit. He's not going to touch you on your counter punch. Okay? Pull the power out of the really punch. Good. Roll that shoulder. I like to see that left hand up a little bit more. I think. I like the pressure. That is right on, right on cue. You can cue, fade him. I believe he's going to reach for you. Very you, good. You well, like what were you saying about that left hand? hand? See his left well, hand? Yeah, his left hand is down. You see it down by his waist. If you, you don't have time to pull it up, your opponent's right cross is too fast. So just roll that shoulder. Hide, yeah, hide behind that shoulder. Our final fight of the evening, second round of the middleweights, William Williams for the Gaios in the blue trunks and the purple trunks. Marquis Moore making his debut. <laughs> Seeing the development this year of William Williams. If he can do the things that Coach Burns wants him to do, rolling those shoulders, keeping that left hand up a little bit higher and not getting hit. Is he, oh, good right hand right there. Good right hand from William Williams. Memphis oh, has been a hot yeah. team lately. They've won three of their last four matches, including a win over first place L.A. So they feel like the end of this year has been very good to them. They won here tonight. Two split decisions went their way. And to come into Miami mm -hmm. and win sure. is a big deal. Yeah, pick up a victory on the road. Wait, look at the shoulders of Moore. He's, he's, got, such, about he's got such, so defi such definition up there. So his back, there's muscles in your back, and that's how strong these kids are. You know, they just, they just so much adrenaline in them. They just, they, they, they peek out. They just look so, so strong. Moore's been in some international dual meets. Dominican Republic versus DC and USA Russia dual meet. So he knows about the international type competition. But we're fighting under international professional rules here. Big difference. Williams has been. I wonder about how much he's got left in the tank because he's been fighting a lot this season. He fought himself into condition. Yeah. We talked about that earlier tonight. You know, you, you learn, you really learn how to go through these matches. You learn how to breathe. You learn how to how to coast when you need to. You, you fight when you must. Ooh, ooh, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Load. That wasn't down good. I, he went down there a couple of times. That happens sometimes. You got a fighter fighting in a crouch style like that. Yeah, both of them the, the same height. But you're right. More, more He's more to crouch. Yeah, he crouches down. He, he balls up his power. He rolls into it, and then he, and he explodes out. Like that right there. See, he kind of coils up like a spring. and then unloads. Oh, he just oh. got caught with a right hand. Williams being patient there. That was nice. Oh, Williams is good. Moore, good. Moore tried to uh, step it up a notch, and right at the end of that exchange, he got caught with a really hard right hand and got his eyes crossed up. Williams allowing for Moore to add to the power of the punch by moving in. Yes, step caught him with a Williams. Step exactly. Let's go. Sam Burgos, good job uh -oh. in the ring. Referee. Jab, 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 jab on the outside. We got blood out of the right eye of Williams. Oh, I didn't see a good combination. Did you see a clash of heads in there? I, don't, I, I can't did not, tell. but this, this, this pace Break. has been so blistering. They, they could have banged heads. I didn't see it. Slight cut on the outside of the right eye of William Williams. Final seconds, round number two. Oh, oh good work right there for Williams. Man. Wow, look at that. That's how sharp these kids are. Man. got staggered. Wow. You know, that's how sharp and how crisp these kids are. He saw the opening, and man, that left hook just came blistering in there. We gotta work, you just relax, kid. Let us work out. 
Yeah, they're gonna work on the cut right now. Look at more. How about right that there. last flurry right there, Sean? That was super. I like Look the way that. Williams makes him pay. Bingo. And then that's these punches from Williams on the right, and he just unloads. There it is. Big left hook. He's got power in that left. They're working on that cut this here, on the right uh, orbital. Okay. This here from Williams talking about fighting a guy that uh, nobody's heard a lot about in this series. No, I, I don't underestimate nobody. I just go in there like it's somebody that, I mean, I don't know him, so I just go in there and just adjust and do what I have to do to get the win. So it doesn't really matter if it's his first fight or... He had 100 fights or no fights, it doesn't matter. He's still, you know, he's a boxer, so. Well, he does, and that is the way Williams Williams is fighting. He is just, you know, going in there respectfully, yes. but, but just taking his opponent apart, apart, apart. Well, Moore wants to really open this thing up, sure. and Williams is very smart, and he's getting the better end of the deal right at the end when he counters. He, he is accurate. Moore, look at Moore, a little more bobbing and weaving from Marcus. And he's kind of, watch, look at that step over from Marcus. There's a good move from him. I'll tell you what, that's Adrian Davies-esque. He has learned a lot, uh, a lot of things. Adrian, former boxer himself, a terrific welterweight, now developed into a wonderful trainer in Maryland. Great, step back, no throwing, step back. Whip is lucky to have this kid coming in late in the season. Their whole team is, I, I just think the coach Bradley's done a great job over there. Yeah, when he started started the season, he he was uh, a coach looking for talent, and he found it in his own backyard. He started working with these kids and started you know, learning from them, and they learned from him. And they never gave oh, up. Wow. Listen this, to these punches. Do you hear these punches? Folks? There's coach. They hurt from over here. Coach Bradley keeping a close eye on his fight. Well, I figured out more my first time seeing him. He's a power, power puncher. He wants to come in and trade. Very compact body. Uh, look at, though, the accuracy on the counter punching from William Williams. Well, they're actually the same height, but look how they just fight up. different. Yeah, look how coiled up we, uh, uh, Moore gets. Marcus squats down. He gets all of his energy and all of his power in, into his trunk and his, you know, in, in his legs with every shot. I wouldn't blink in this one, Sean. Uh, Somebody could. There you go. Well, That's well, what I'm saying. That's great. <laughs> oh. I'm telling you, I was getting ready for somebody to load up something, and these guys could go down at any moment. Now, Moore digging in the body. just got caught with the right hand. Both of them got staggered, I'm telling you, right there. Moore got staggered, and so did Williams. Williams got caught a left. Moore caught a right. Oh. I heard they that body shot from here. Those are bombs. Round three, the middleweight division. William Williams looking to go to four and one on the season. The only loss oh. was one of our most talented middleweights digging down low is there to Esquiva Florentino, whose brother Yamaguchi is one of the top fighters in this season. And in this division. Same division, wow. Man. Blistering pace. And these are punches. Are, you can hear it. You can feel it. Oh, good cross. Williams not done. Tell you what, you want action, <laughs> put this one on your VCR. Might have put it in slow motion. I'm Super telling slow you. mo to, to be able to watch this. They have really thrown a lot of hard shots. Middle age. Working on that. Yeah, well, would, been, Nazario has been busy tonight in those he's cuts. Rolling, All in the same place, to the right. too. All the cuts have been right on, hand. his fighters have been on that right eye. Go back, go back, go back. Do you, you understand? Are you listening? You're waiting too long. You're waiting too long. Pop him with that jab. Pop him with that jab hard. Draw your right hand and then bring your left hand. Stop falling in. You're crowding yourself. Okay, this is a dead even fight. What round are they right now? That is great. Great instructions from Pat Burns. Here's what he's saying. Don't lean in so much. You know, get in, score, and then either get out or time up. Look, see both of them throwing hard punches. Going, both of them going for the knockout. Couple of middleweights. Go, Round number four, it's been a war. We got swelling over the left eye, or in the left eye, of Marquis Moore. Again, another, another, another low blow, blow. Another low blow. Oh, Tough fight for it's, yeah, William Williams. 
they're just, you know, they're just, just struggling so much. You know, they, they're they trying to pick up a victory. They don't want to end up on the bottom. They, you know, still they're trying to stay into this. Here's, here's Where was happened. this one, Sean? It was, Bang. Yeah, no, no doubt. It was, uh, now in, in these cups that they make for you, there's, there's also a bladder protector that's right in the front of the cup. And that, that also can cause you some, High voices, some high <laughs> octaves uh, every now and then. <laughs> oh, that's good work. Moore's working his way in behind that jab now. That's what he should have been doing the whole time. Moore's changing. He's changing up. Good hook from William. I'll tell you what, he's got to. He's, he's, he's going to have to worry about that right eye closing on Moore rapidly. That tells you what kind of work he's been doing. That uh, William Williams has been doing with that left jab. Sure. That works. It works. Yeah, that's a, that's swelling up pretty quickly, but he's still got good vision. Well, swelling up because he's getting hit on it. Yeah, he is. It's bad. And you pop it. You know, you see that as a fighter, you see your opponent swelling somewhere or, or even a cut or something. So any little advantage, you start peppering it, man. Just just let him have it right there. And that's what Williams is doing. Use that as a target. Aim for that 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 vulnerability. It's, there's a way to be, you know, these, there's so beauty, to, so much beauty to watch in fights like this because you really see how they're changing their styles to adapt to the situation. They're, they're, they're listening to their coach and they're, they're putting that mixture of you know, no. soup. And look at this. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. Williams could do more of that. Look at how accurate Williams is. Wow. This guy has really improved in this World Series of Boxing. Wow, he got to Moore right there. Oh, no, he just walked right into a right hand. Very good, too, Moore. But he been, hasn't been in this combine that Williams has been in. Oh, look at this combination. Good work. Right. William Williams, wow. Yeah, he hasn't been eye. here before. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Sam Berger's keeping a good you, eye on the I, But I tell you what, Marquis Moore is a very, very good fighter. Very good. And he tough. does what he does best, working his way in behind that jab in. But see, he's getting picked off. William Williams has got the experience edge in this, and he's picking him off with the accurate punches. Maybe he's waiting a little bit too long, but there's a lot of power he's in against with Moore. Moore is a very, very powerful fighter. Oh, see that. You can just hear it. Yeah, downstairs. I don't have to say anything. Oh, that was hurt. Oh, good Ooh. right hand. Here we go. Look at this. Man. Right. There's Jackie Gleason to say in this theater, and away we go. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Great to be here. I feel like the ghost of Jackie Gleason here, huh? How about that? <laughs> well, we'll take a peek in here about what's going on. Everything in the ring is down. You understand me? Double jab, right hand, left hook, one inside. Up the, up the middle, boom, boom, because he's there for the uppercut. He's leaning past his knee. That uppercut and hook is there for you, baby. Okay. Got to make it a dog fight, baby, all right? Three minutes. The uppercut and hook is what they're looking for from the force. And that's uh, more on the right. There's a low blow uh, from Marquis. Uh, they're looking for these uppercut and a hook. You know, and a, for good reason. The reason he wants that punch is Williams sometimes leans over a little bit too much, like right there. The uppercut and the hook can work real well on that. Let's go, let's go. Hey, let's get that water. Let's get that water in that corner. Let's go. Come on, come on in, come on in. And it is the fifth and final round of the final fight of the night. Middleweights William Williams on the left side of your screen, taking on the newcomer Marky Moore, who has been tough, but I don't know if he's been more than Williams. Yeah. Well, he's been tough, and he's, he still needs to, some seasoning in this World Series of Boxing. You know, Moore's good, he's very good, he's just not quite there yet. Well, he's not like Williams has been. Right, but one punch, remember, when the fifth round could turn this thing around I do, in yeah. any second. Sure, and I, I, you know, I've been wrong <laughs> all, all season about you know, my scorecard many, many times, but that's my feeling on this. I just feel like Williams has a little bit more control because he's been here before. He's a very good middleweight. Oh, very good, very good. 
We enjoyed watching him. They made him the headliner tonight. And what did people see? But you know what? They brought a tough customer here from Memphis, from Washington, D.C., oh, yeah. a, a protege of the great coach, Adrian Davis. Oh, yeah. And uh, Marquis Moore's got a future. Yeah, sure does. He might even win this one. Got a ways to go here in round number five. Oh, oh. Mr. Williams, that nice right hand there. Yeah. Hey, Williams is able to move, move and get out of the way. I think he's got more a little bit befuddled right now. Moore's just trying to pound away. And Williams is able to ran the more effective, accurate punches. And look at this. This is boxing action, the World <laughs> Series of Boxing. It's been that way you all know, year. Why are we surprised? This is tense. There is you know, pressure in this. There's a lot at stake in this fight. Still up to the individual championships. Still to I think of all the great middleweights. I hope that uh, William Williams gets consideration to go to the world championships. But there's, there's so many good ones that we've seen. Yeah, great, great division. The Yamaguchi Florentino down in Mexico City is getting a lot of attention because he's a, he's a very stylish fighter from Brazil. This is a tough, hard-working fighter, William Williams from Conyers, Georgia, basically Atlanta area. They got to be tired, Sean. I'm sure they say. Oh, sure they do. What a blistering place. Still yeah. digging in. They're still trying to hit the home run. Still looking for the knockout. Right, break. Stand back. Stand back. Don't throw They're wanting for Williams to stand tall to use that jab. Get that jab working. You've you got to do something to get Marquis off of you. He's got Marquis' you face Marquee swollen. Walk right straight in and start bombing away. Oh. Ooh, that was an accurate left. I think, I think Marquis is saying these fights are long. Yeah. <laughs> it sure takes a long time to fight five three-minute rounds. It is a pressure cooker. Wow, right what a great fight, Sean. Yeah, very nice. These middleweights wow. have been tremendous tonight. Heart, determination, guts. And that they, sums up what the World Series of Boxing is all about. You just saw it, folks. That's it. Toe-to-toe -to -toe action, nonstop, five rounds, young men looking to, to earn and build a reputation and not protect a record. Earn That's what you right. get here. Earn a reputation is right. These kids, these kids want to improve, and they have. They've all improved. Let's hear it one more time for our team. Williams, Williams. Put their hearts out. As I said, that just summed up what the World Series of Boxing is all about. Let's take a look at some of the pants. This is fifth round action. These are men in this fifth round. They, they've all. They, been through this brawl throughout this night, and it's been just like this every round. Combinations downstairs to the body, they've been taking a beating up and down. It is, oh, it's heavy body shots from Moore. And uh, coming back is Williams. Williams with some real accurate. accurate yeah, he's been, he was, ac I mean, that was the key, Sean. I'm I sure. think he was accurate. accurate. He yeah. was able to withstand the barrage. Now, I've been. I've been surprised twice tonight, so I'm not going to say who yeah, I think won this one. Yeah, I agree with you on this, but <laughs> I agree with you in that. He is, he was the more accurate of the two. You know, showing a lot of heart, a lot of skills, Marquis Moore, but I just don't think he did enough to, to you know, impose his will on Williams. Williams got a little I think he got gassed. That. I think, uh, yeah, I think Marquis sure. got gassed in that fourth fifth round. round. Yeah. Fourth, fourth, fifth round. Yeah, sure. Well, for good reason. It is five or five, three-minute rounds, not... You know, three. And, and we can't emphasize enough. There's a lot of diff big difference between you can go as many rounds as you want to in the gym and sparring, but under the pressure, your sparring partners aren't going to be what these guys are when you get in the ring on fight night. So to recap tonight, Memphis has uh, continued to be a hot club, having won three of their last four matchups, including a win over first place L.A. Matadors, which really hurt the Matadors in the standings. All right, Mark Lichtenfeld is ready with the results of this middleweight bout. I'm going to fight both of you guys. First debut. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. Fred Flutie and Ralph Vidal both scored about 49-46, while Rick Bays sees it 48-47 for your winner by unanimous decision from the Miami <laughs> Gallo. William well, finally, William. Well, <laughs> finally, I got one right. 48-47, 48-47. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you here Thursday night. And we'll be back here Thursday night, as they said, on the schedule for uh, our our show. All right, Sean. Hey, William. Take it away. Congratulations. Wow, what a fight. What were you thinking? Uh, man, uh, the kid, he was pretty strong. He's a real good kid. Uh, first of all, I want to give this 
this victory to God, without him this wouldn't be possible. But uh, the, the kid, he was pretty strong. He is very strong. You're a different fighter, though. Oh, yes, sir, man. I've been working harder in the gym every day. I knew I had one more fight. I had to push it in, put the work in. Your experience in the World Series of Boxing, how much did that help you tonight in this match? Man, it helped me a lot. It helped me keep my composure a little bit. I got wild, you know, in, in the middle of some of the rounds, but I got my composure back, so. I like how you've changed, too. You boxed him a little bit. You brawled with him a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. What problems were you having with him? Uh, the kid was uh, pretty strong, a little awkward. He was jabbed in my body. You know, it was a little, because I was taller. He was shorter. He would get to my body a little bit. But uh, he's a real good kid. Real good kid, and you're a real good kid. Way to go, William Williams. Nice job, man. Nice job for him tonight. How about that, Alan? He gets a victory.